look, it's nice to contribute to, to the team, um, even though it wasn't a win in the end and we were disappointed that the rain came when it did and you know, I think it was going to be a really exciting finish. Um, I remember the first time we started playing against um, some of our WA teammates um, as they started leaving the different Big Bash franchises and that was uh, quite a surreal, weird feeling. Um, as is the way now, it seems to be more commonplace and it seems to be that we're coming up against a lot of our teammates who we play state cricket with. And um, the other night with Hilton and Marcus Stoinis, there are a couple examples of guys who I'm really close with um, and, and, you know, great teammates um, within Western Australia. And having to come up against with them, you know, I probably know how dangerous they can be. And, um, you know, but it's something in this modern professional game that we're more used to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, I know you guys have said in the past that you're learning the new um, rules on the go and how to implement them. With yourself and Colin Munro striking um, as fiercely as you were, do you sort of look back as well as the many positives to take out of that game that perhaps you could have taken the power surge a bit earlier while you guys were both firing? Yeah, for sure. It's something that um, we reflected on and we talked about as a group and, um, you know, Colin and I were having the conversation out there at the time and probably for um, an over and a half before I got out, we, we'd been having the conversation about whether we were going to take it and um, it was probably um, we were going to take it um, until Nick Maddinson came on to bowl with, um, you know, all due respect to him. Um, you know, he's not a frontline bowler and we felt like we'd hold off from taking the power play hit for another over and um, as is often the way, um, you know, we get out to part-time bowlers and that's okay, but we probably um, reflected and learned our lesson. And I think that, um, you know, we decided that in the future, um, you know, we're probably, as soon as we start thinking about taking the power play, we'd rather guys err on the side of taking it than holding off and being a bit cautious. Awesome, thank you. Thanks, Bon. Tom, do you want to jump in? Yep, yep, sorry, it's just finding the unmute button. Um, uh, Ashton, a definite improvement in batting uh, in the second game compared to the first game. Was that a um, was that a focus in preparations uh, leading into that game against the Stars? Um, well, I think we always focus on scoring as many runs as we can. Um, you know, I think I've said after the game, after the game against the Renegades, that sometimes in T Twenty cricket, um, it can be a fickle game, and um, you know, being the higher octane, high risk format that T Twenty cricket is, sometimes you're going to have great nights and sometimes you're going to have not so great nights and that was an example of that and um, you know being the first game of the season it's something that we decided we didn't want to take to heart too much um, you know we still trust our batting list to go out and put really competitive um, totals forward for our bowlers to defend and um, you know I think we played with great confidence on the back of a disappointing game in round one and we saw runs start to flow a bit easier in the second game. And, um, you know, it was a shame that we didn't get to, to bowl and try and defend that title. Uh, on the, the move to Canberra, this obviously the last 24 hours for, for New South Wales uh, has been uh, challenging with the COVID stuff. Has that, has that um, sort of crept in at all for you guys for, for any worries about games in Sydney over the next couple of weeks? I think the big, big bash moves there mid-January. Do you look ahead at all to that kind of stuff? I seem to be the last person to find out a lot of the information that's relayed down the chain of command. So, um, you know, as is the environment at the moment where we're all um, prepared to be really adaptable. And, you know, if we have to jump on a flight and fly somewhere that we're not expecting to, to, to play a game to get this tournament moving, then, you know, we're all really happy to do that. Um, you know, at the moment we have our focus on playing in Canberra in a few nights time and um, beyond that, um, we know that the landscape can change pretty quickly and um, we'll be ready for any changes that pop up. Um, what have you made of the rules after two games now, those three new rules that I think um, AJ said um, that he would be surprised if anyone used the X factor rule. I think the next day it was used by both teams. Um, what have you made of the rules and is it still a learning, a learning journey for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, even when rules don't change and rules don't get implemented we see uh, cricket change we see the game evolve and move forward and that's probably just accelerated by the the new rule changes um, you know there's a couple of the rule changes that I really like and um, you know the the 10 over 
bonus point. That's one that I really like. I really like the the two over power surge. I think as a viewer, I think it adds a lot of excitement to the game and, um, you know, it adds to the complexity of the game and it can be a challenge for the bowling team, but it can be um, really exciting as, at the same time. Um, the X Factor player one is one that we haven't really got our head around. Um, you know, I think we saw it get used pretty well by a couple of the teams the other night, um, uh, the first time it was used, but we haven't found ourselves really in a situation where we've needed to use it. But that's not to say that that won't, um, an, an opportunity to use the X Factor won't arise in the next few games. Um. How's it been watching Cameron Green playing Test cricket, and uh, how much has he missed in the Scorchers squad for this season? Because it seems like he'll, he'll probably play a couple of Test matches now. Yeah, oh, there's been a great sense of excitement, as is any occasion where one of your teammates and good friends gets to make their debut playing for Australia. I know that we were fortunate that we'd uh, just arrived to our hotel in Canberra in just in time to um, watch the first ball and. I know that most of the guys were glued to their TV screens to watch Cam's first spell of bowling in test cricket. And, um, you know, I think we're just really excited and it, there's almost a, a sense of inevitability about it. Um, I think that guys who have been around him and seen him at work firsthand know how talented he is. And, um, you know, I, I, I suspect it's been a while since a first game has been hyped up as much as Cameron Green has. And I think there's good reason to, he's a superstar and, I'm looking forward to spending uh, the best part of probably the next decade watching him play for Australia on TV. Uh, just looking ahead now, you got to think it's the Thunder on Tuesday, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. Um, what, what are you expecting from them and what's your preparation like over the next couple of days? Um, we've talked about our, our preparation throughout this whole Big Bash campaign and um, there's going to be really high intensity training sessions mixed in with some some days off and some great opportunities for the guys to relax and to recover both physically and mentally. Um, as with every team in this competition, um, there's superstars walking around and we know that we're going to be playing against some really talented guys from the Sydney Thunder. Um, you know, they're coming off a, a really morale boosting win the other night in Canberra and, um, you know, they've played a couple games here and probably a little bit more familiar with the conditions than we are, but um, you know, we take a lot of confidence out of, um, you know, particularly our batting performance the other night against the Melbourne Stars, but we also have a lot of confidence in our squad and we have done since before the tournament started. So that confidence doesn't dissipate overnight and we're really looking forward to, to playing on Tuesday night against the Thunder. Thanks, mate. Cool. Thanks, Tom. Um, I'm not sure exactly who it is on the new Skype account, but do you want to jump in and ask Ash a question? Yeah, sorry, it's Steve Allen from 10 here, Pat. Oh, okay, Steve. Um, Ash, um, like, given what's happening with the outbreak, like, are there any sort of nerves for you guys at the moment about watching what's happening with the border arrangements and, you know, your ability to potentially host teams at Optus? Um, well, if we go back a few months, you know, everyone was almost expecting no cricket to be played this summer at all. So the fact that we're able to play cricket and we have been playing cricket, um, you know, in the state competition and now in the big bashes, um, you know, it's a great luxury and it's something that we're all really appreciating. So um, firstly, we're, you know, thankful the people have made this happen. Um, and we know that in the unpredictable climate that we're in at the moment, that it's really hard to predict forward. And um, we we know that things are probably going to change. Um, you know, it's likely that venues will change. It's likely that um, cities will change. Um, and that's okay. If we're playing cricket, that's a great thing. If we're not, it's okay. It's not the end of the world either. But, um, you know, we love playing in Perth and we hope that we can play as many games there as possible. But if that doesn't happen, it's also not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. But um, do, do, would it affect your chances as a team as far as success in the Big Bash? Um, we play so much cricket all around the country um, at the moment that um, we're really familiar um, with all the grounds we're playing at. You know, I'm not playing at a, a ground this year that I haven't played a lot of cricket at before. And that's the same with the most of the guys in the squad. And um, we're really confident in our skills and we trust that um, we can win games of cricket against anyone at any ground. 